and I'm welcome to another episode of the Koblex Missions. I am Dirtable Nine, and this is my second time recording this because I've refilled the first time messing up the intro and taking too long to do things, and yeah. So, um, yeah, today we're going to do. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, Kerbal, um, lights and Kerbal City Lights and Clouds have been updated to release two, and as you can see, they updated the main screen, so, uh, got that now. It doesn't show the lights for some reason, but it's okay. Alright, so today we're going to uh, get into the simulation and uh, test out the MEV, and if we have enough time, test out uh, R2B. And, um, yeah, and I'll probably be using some fast-forward sequences, um, you know, just to um, slow down time, because um, in, once I get into orbit, because I'm pretty sure I don't want to uh, mess around with... Uh, Launching and um, if I go into a fast forward sequence, I won't be able to, you know, uh, I won't be able to uh, talk. Talk can be hard to stop recording and stuff like that. Orbit, orbital is just more stable for fast forward sequences. So, um, yeah. Now, I did the math as I take it to town, but I did the math on these uh, fuel cells and. Uh, and then the first recording is why it also took me a long time to figure out where they were. So, um, uh, yeah, let me look at, the, okay. Right, um, those fuel tanks are these, and as you can see their stats, uh, I added them up and saw how much they are together, and, and of course, I can, oh, there they are. Yeah, it took me much longer the first time. Um, hey, not that one. We know that for sure. You? Yes. Hey, you're not working. All right, so um, yeah, the cost of uh, the three fuel tanks, these is only uh, six six hundred seventy five, where the big where the noble punch tanks are, eight hundred. Um, I'm, I'm talking about like three of these. Yeah, by the way, um, the liquid fuel of these tanks are um, combined is uh. 297, which is more than, uh, the 288 of, um, the Noble Punch fuel tank, the Noble Punch medium-sized fuel tank, I guess, and the total mass is a theory something, um, whereas the total mass of, uh, this fuel tank is, um, total mass of these is 3 something, and the total mass of this one is, like, is 3.6, and these are definitely lighter, so, uh, yeah, so it's better to have three of these than, uh, one of those in every way possible. Uh, with the section of, uh, this may be a little bit more shaky than that, because there are multiple tanks. And, um, yeah. So, um, gotta watch out for that, and also, uh, actually that's pretty much it. And also, the uh, more of these main calls, like, we just one of those, and that's all, and my double coming down, alright, so, uh, let's uh, get on with it, um. I might actually uh, get rid of these loading screens during this, but uh, since I'm talking through this one, I won't. Uh, I might not be able to get rid of all of them, but some of them. Uh, it's not that long loading screen, but it does take time away from the episode. So it's best to, um, you know, get rid of it now. You know, get get rid of it to, uh, you know, if I don't talk through it, then just to get rid of it. It'll be better for everyone. All right. Yo, we got Jeb back. If only we had the launch gantry to tell how big this thing is, but I believe this will be almost as tall. Alright. You can see the clouds in the background. T, uh, throttle up. It doesn't appear to be falling. Good. Get that right there. Oh yeah, I moved my, um, FER stuff up a little bit. As I could. Alright, and, um, let's hit it. Ooh, that's bad. That's also bad, the rotation. I don't like that. Jeff, do you like that? Uh, of course he likes that. But that was actually a dumb question. Um, well, that's not good. Uh, oh, look at those tanks. They're bad. It works. Kinda. A little bit. Actually, it works a lot. Uh, it could be a lot worse, actually. It could have exploded or something silly like that. Not, what has exploded? So that's good. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have struts yet in the 
Turbo Expedition version. Oh yeah, I'm kind of yelling because uh, for me the rocket sound is loud. But for you it's probably actually for you it's probably equally as loud, so it's okay. Um, we're, we're past Mach One. Uh, we're building over should not. Where's 90? There's 90. Uh, keep your eye on that when you turn that way eventually. Alright, maybe the solid fuel boosters are overpowering the rocket. It could be the possibility. Alright, 90 is up north now, which is good. I like that. Oh, it's going to uh, roll to the left. Roll to the left, I say. All right, uh, pitch up, I guess. There we go. We want to do that. Don't want to do it that fast, though. Oh, should have been paying more attention. Uh, this is not good. I mean, at least the uh, added fuel of the other stages is not doing anything bad. Oh, uh, this is not good. We're flipping over. Cancel engine. It's quiet. Too quiet. That's not good. Alright, we just want a little engine. Go back up. Rest, trust to fool. Alright, I finally hear that actual engine and the uh, thing was it. Alright, let's push this out of that, Mo. Alright. Uh, I'm confused. Oh, you know what? Let's follow the green thing. Let's do that. That makes sense. A uh, slow push. Uh, let's pull, pull, pull throttle. We don't need that, so... Uh, it could have been worse. Uh, it could have been a lot worse, actually. Uh, switch back. Oh, get rid of that. I hit spacebar. Oh, we're going over. This is not good. Never feet not good. We're flipping. Um, where are we in our orbit? Not as. Close enough, I suppose. Come on, get back on track. Now, I just need to watch my engine more carefully. I wish you could see where my apoapsis is at um, in uh, this view. Uh, I can't do that with engineer, but I want to have an engineer in the. Uh, actually, I could actually have an engineer in the. Um, in playing uh, in a career mode by cost of money. Engage other engines. Ah, so close. Hey, hey, game. I'm hitting. I'm hitting E. There we go. Um, lag. What lag? What you for? What are you doing, lag? Up. Oh, that's good enough. I hit. Uh, do do do. What the why was that? Uh, I swear, uh, I'm uploading some videos right now, so that might be the cause. Come on. Okay, 100. Phew! Alright, that launch was sloppy. Let's focus it. Alright, let, yeah. I get 30 frames per second when I'm looking up. All right, so um, I blew this rocket horribly, but uh, it can be done. It, it can be done a lot better. So um, after I test to see if this I if this design works and actually gets to the mun and back, I will um, uh, continue. I will uh, test my launch skills because honestly, I suck at launching this thing. And let's hit F five because we got into orbit. Oh, now we, no, we got into the server wet, which is good. All right.
Uh, you know what? I don't sense uh, a real point of doing a uh, fast forward sequence here. So I'll just uh, continue talking and. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll just um, train myself with this rocket uh, off camera. Yeah, I think if I made the first stage and it's, um, oh, d oh, whoops. I was not paying attention. I was, I was looking, I was looking off screen. Um, yeah, if I were, let's turn the right side up. Yeah, if I were to, uh, if I made the first stage and the stages that attach to it, um, be as, um, de not decouplers, um, Real decouplers. Um, if I made those out of um, small tanks, small vanilla tanks, uh, then it will probably have collapsed in on itself because you saw what happened uh, under the forest with those struts. It wanted to, um, you know, collapse. So, having to keep small tanks down there, I mean, having to keep bigger tanks down there makes more sense. And I would need to, uh, well, I need to see the cost of the engineer and see if it's worth the cost of it in order to uh, make my launching easier. Just so I can see the um, half collapses. Where it's at? Nope. Yeah, and, uh, when I, when, um, when, I, when I'm overdoing this thing, when I want it to get into orbit, I need to start before the half collapses. Oh, there it is. Or this happens. Get out of the atmosphere first. Ah, uh, good enough. Oh, uh, well, that worked. We're in orbit now. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Alright. Ah, uh, we're... Because uh, the craft was spinning around, can't really do anything about that other than wings. Um, we're off. We know our inclination is slightly off. More than slightly, actually. That needs to be rectified before we're going to the when, before we try to go to the moon. Actually, that's not good. Because uh, if you go to the moon by thrusting uh, from there to here, that uh, would go like that, and that'd be no good. That'd be a problem. And, uh, actually, let's, uh, take you there and see if I can remember how to, uh, change inclinations. Uh, I mean, I've done it. No. Bad. I want to move you. That's not moving you. Uh, right click. All right. Uh, there she do. No. Okay, this is gonna be difficult. Um. Uh, what is good? What is good? Okay, that's good enough. And it doesn't push our orbit out that much. All right, we got that finished. All right, F five, and let's spin around. What are you doing? What did I click on? Some planet or moon? Uh, do do going on the planet. Uh, do 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 planet. Uh, do do do. Come on, waiting, waiting. Okay, go. All right, normal speed. Uh, just so I can get on that line. All right, that. I forgot I was maneuvering with the SAS on. 
I forgot you could do that. Alright, at five. Now this is just in case I mess up. I just realized the problem with this thing being that close. It looks weirder, but it's okay. Can't really focus on that. All right, and now. What's going on? I hit space for game. All right, that's good enough. I really hate the fact that I have to hit the commands twice now in order from the in order to get them to work. I have no idea what that's about. All right, well that worked perfectly. All right, so this will give so this will uh, get us into uh, the moon's orbit and hopefully get us to the ground. Well, this will get us actually to land and then come back. I hope. F five. Well, I guess this. I guess this is what this episode is going to be about. Mun? I don't. I, I don't. I can't. I don't. Oh, it goes on the line. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. How do I target my own vehicle again? I don't understand. Oh, this would be far too annoying. Um. I really wish I knew how to target my own vehicle. Okay, I don't understand. Um. All right. Using completely no skill whatsoever. That's too far. I'm going to, uh, use the maneuver mode. Up oh, there it is. Found it. So changing our um Is that good enough for me? No, it's not. I really wish I know what to use you. Oh. I think that worked. Not enough, though. Nope. Why does this go away every two seconds? I don't understand. Ooh, that's... I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Alright, so there's our maneuver mode. Node. Um, F5. I forgot, we ain't, we ain't following ship. Although it makes it so much easier to use maneuver nodes. Alright, I pause there to a game position. Now we need to go faster, so it's going to be on the right side somewhere. Look for that blue mark. You're not the blue. Whoa, you are the blue mark. Alright, up, up, up. Come on. Oh, 
I'm pressing all the wrong buttons right now. Alright. F5. Now this one's kind of in case of mistakes, just to let you know. One minute. Oh, wait, I was looking at the wrong one. I was looking at that. Uh, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit F9. Yeah, I accidentally hit the. Uh, I mean, I didn't accidentally hit. I um, I was looking at the wrong one. I gotta set the maneuver note again. Ah, uh, I wish I have no. I wish I knew that. Ah. Uh, there, I maneuver. Impact. This green surface. Ah, uh, there we go. Perfect. I got it on the first try. We're probably using the other thing. I'm being really good at these maneuver nodes. All right. I mean, hitting a five won't make any difference. Well, let's get a little closer. I wish these maneuver nodes had an estimated area to begin your burn when uh, that thing actually works. Because uh, you have to completely guess when you're supposed to uh, act, act, uh, actually uh, begin your burn. Uh, yeah, I should have. Knowing I should have, um, I should have done it way over there. Because when you move, uh, and that perhaps this will move with you and it will do like that, it will, it will uh, go left. Uh, this might actually work, so let's stay with it. Oh, oh, target. All right, yeah, it helps you, uh, it, ma it makes it so, um, no matter when you actually start your burn, it, uh, helps you yeah, get to where you want to be. Just follow the blue mark. Almost done. Yep. We only got six minutes left in this recording, so... Uh, I think you're gonna. Well, wait, no, you may not. Yeah, let's... Oh. And perfect. Uh. Better. All right. Uh, I'll keep in mind. This is my first time actually manually going to the moon. Uh, because I used, um, the old next ship to get to the moon in my Moth Hunter LP, and, uh, the only other time I did something manually, uh, going to another object was to Duna, and I got into, like, a polar, polar, polar orbit, uh, that's actually, uh, well, and it was also very high. High inclination? Uh, no, I mean high altitude, so. That was very interesting. Alright, check on fuel status. Oh, that should uh, help us slow down. One, two, three, four, and they just and it likes to uh stop. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Turn on! I need you on. Come on! I know it's shift. I'm lucky where it is. For yours, it's like cat lock. Um, that won't turn on. Weird. I'm gonna hit cat lock. 
stop knowing that. <sighs> Why? Why do you not want to work? What have I done to you? Did this work? Uh oh, I, I think I know this problem. Yeah, my keys aren't working. Um, yeah, this is a bug. Uh, I don't know if it, this is from some mod or the game itself, but uh, sometimes it locks you out of the controls. F5? Oh, that works. Um, F5 again. Oh, now that works. Turn you on. Oh, okay, just. Oh, and time warp it. Ah, I see. Time warp doesn't work. Okay, I understand. Alright. Now what we want to do is we want to slow down. Oh. Oh, he lied to me, game. Actually, he didn't lie to me. That's actually the same distance, but he lied to me on the position. Alright, there's the new one, which this is the first time I've been seeing it. And uh, it's, I believe it's um, procedurally generated surface. I'm just going to flip around. There you are. All right, yeah, its surface is now procedurally generated. So every uh, experience is new, or I think it, anyway. It could just be uh, when they had the when they had the update changing the surface. Oh yeah, the surface is has a procedurally generated craters. Uh, yeah, I believe um, it could have been some resources. Ah, we got tons of electricity. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, um, it could have been. Uh, that um when that when it was first updated with its new uh textures uh it was just procedurally generated then it might not be procedurally generated every time i don't know i don't know if there's a difference but uh yeah all right slow down Almost there. How high is this anyway? Ooh, that's high. Well, at least I know that's a little too high. I like my orbit slow. It's in under like 50 for the month. Um. All right, that's good enough for me. You no know, F5, just in case. Because I really don't want to reset the entire mission just because I mess it up. Or the controls don't want to be as responsive as they should be, or something like that. Alright. Alright, that's not going to be a problem. Mun Orbit! Uh, that was a little early, don't you think? Oh. Oh, let's, yeah, let's close that in. Let's put it down to 50. Why not? Actually, let's put it, uh... Yeah, that's a stable orbit. I agree with you on that. Yeah, let's put it around 100, just so I, you know... Alright, let's stop right there. Let's take on the fuel while we're at it. Alright, so this is for... Yeah, this tank is definitely for getting to orbit and possibly slowing down enough to, um, land. And then just seeing it at the last second and switching on another one. Um, yeah. Um, if I'm we being without a checkpoint, I believe. All right. Oh, you know what? I actually, no, I was going to say we could just uh, land from this orbit. We don't even need to get into a nice orbit, but uh, from. From this high orbit, I don't think we want to. Alright, sorry about that. Um, it appears that I ran out of space. Uh, but just in time for the episode, I think, anyway. So, uh, what I want to do is I want to um, get into an orbit, or not even an orbit, to um, get into a place where I can land. You know what? You know what? Maybe I should bring that a different way to do one first. <sighs> no. Well, I'm pressing W, that's fine. Oh, he flipped. 
All right. And once when and once I get around to the dark side, uh, actually once I get around there, um, blah, 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 yeah, right there, I'm going to uh, be right to um, add my move up. The grade. Okay, that seems fine. All right. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, that, okay, yeah, let's do that, be more safe. Alright, um, oh yeah, sorry, yeah, I already said that, um, I said a couple things in between that and, uh, I mean, in between that and then, but, uh, I didn't get caught. So, yeah, sorry about that, but once I get into that orbit, I'm going to end this, um, I'm going to, um, end this episode and then record part two. Now, um, I could upload part one and part two on the same day or a day after, but you know what? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this a story arc. I'm gonna even though it's a simulation, I'm gonna make it a story arc. So uh, you gotta tune in next week for the next episode. Oh yeah. So sorry about that. Um, but let's do it. And plus, I have one stockpiled, so I wouldn't have to record one. And hopefully, I would remember, so I won't. Uh, uh, so I won't uh, record it a day late, which I'm. Sorry about, uh, I mean, this is the first time I, uh, second time I ever had a, uh, scheduled release. Being the first time I had a scheduled release was, uh, the multi-com thing with, uh, Source and Demon Forger, which is still ongoing. I need, I'm gonna put up part three, uh, tomorrow, I guess, for you. Alright, let's assume the position. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Oh yeah, and I looked at the um I looked at the couple engineers and um there's actually three engineer parts. There is computer chip part number one, which is just uh the part that you use in the um in the VEB or hung hanger. And then there's the second chip which gives you the information. And then there is the third one which I like is the tape deck with the buttons. And the third one Cost more. It costs like 500. The other two are like 160 and 260, 270, something like that. Two something, two something others. And um, yeah, let me test out what's the difference between uh, the second computer chip and the tape deck. Because it says, because the description of the tape deck says it's faster. I want to know if that's true or not. Because I might choose that. I might not use it, depending if I want to spend the money. All right, 17 seconds, we can uh, get in nice and close. I can actually watch it from the screen. Whoa. Man, good enough. Alright, so, uh, thanks for watching, uh, please leave a comment, like, if you like this video, dislike, dislike this video, as you go searching the videos, uh, please follow me on Raptor on Twitter, you can find those links on my channel page, the reason why you follow me on the two things is because Raptor allows you to follow what games I'm playing, and Twitter allows you to see when my videos are uploaded, because YouTube's description box isn't exactly most accurate at times. And, uh, in the next episode of the Carbon Expeditions, uh, I will be, uh, landing this, I will be landing the map and returning back to Kerbin in the simulation. And, uh, once I've done that, I'm going to, um, see if, uh, I'm going to test off camera to see if the engineering unit is worth my while. And if it is, I'll put it on the rocket because that will make it significantly easier to fly, being that I don't need to be in map view. And, uh, you know, since I can't see the tanks on the thing right there. So, um... Enough wasting time, uh, I guess, uh... I'll see you in the next week of... The Crumbled Expeditions.